people scroll through 90 meters of um, content a day. So that's two Olympic sized swimming pools. So when my financial planner wishes me a happy Monday, I'm like, did I need that in my life? Um, And I think a good guide is, can your content be as good as the service you offer? Because if you post happy Monday to me, you don't care. You haven't put thought about this. It adds no value to my life. So guess what? I'm going to assume that your organic herbal tea is also rubbish as well. I'm very passionate about what I do. Very excited about making content pop. What better than to um, make you drink passion pop? Cheers. TikTok has kind of changed the way that they encourage growth. And that's by just showing you the craziest, most entertaining thing that the algorithm can think that you're interested in because of this TikTok effect. All the content you do see on other platforms as well is just really good from an entertainment level. Is this piece of content scroll stopping? So if you can kind of nail those three things, it, it can be scroll stopping. I kind of love and hate influencers. I think a very common experience I hear is someone goes, oh, we used an influencer once and it didn't work fitness blogger got paid ten thousand dollars to advertise a mcchicken um you can kind of understand why that didn't really like resonate well everyone wants to try to understand algorithms and they go oh wait i found a hack to get 50 percent of all your success is going to come from how good is your content organic compared to getting closer and closer because if you have boring ads guess what they don't work every single social media ad you can post there's a way in which people can talk to you So it's really cool to be in this conversation mode, not just in set and forget mode. So a lot of times we do all this work, we get all these impressions and then we're like, oh, by the way, you know, sorry, see you later. Because we're thinking about users and we forget that these people are people. We don't actually prioritize community management, which is responding to people online. So good community management, one of the most underrated pieces. And guess what? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the platforms, measure how long it takes us to respond to people as brands. When you ask marketing people, like what's the most important thing on social media? Most marketing people say, oh, we need to like engage the audience or we need to make memorable content. But then when you ask customers, what makes a brand really good on social media? The number one element they look for is strong customer service. I'm excited to see what happens because all sorts of weird things are happening like payment gateways are evolving into social media platforms, Zoom, is like kind of thinking about being social media.